are enjoying good and for good for bit evil and he and he and he praises these people. So what's your point, bro? Okay, so what's my point is I've seen that you've done a bit of research. But the sources that you're getting your information from, number one, they're not reliable. Number two, you're talking to certain Muslims which have who them themselves are following the corrupt version of Islam, not the version that Jesus came down with, Moses came down, and Prophet Muhammad, he's been upon him and his family, came down with. So that's why you have got a bit of confusion. But what I want to tell you is that the Holy Prophet Muhammad always mentioned the Christians and always talked about their love to the Muslims and how they protected Islam and the companions, okay? So the Christians, the real Christians, not the new version which is saying Jesus is God and God died on a cross. Can I address this point? Uh, right. So I, I asked I asked Mo Dean, otherwise known as Tony, <laughs> to, to bring me forward a single piece, a shred of evidence that there was ever, ever in history something called an Islamic Injil. Yeah. And notice, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. he brought nothing forward but, but, at all. Let me finish. No, let, me let, finish. Me never let me finish. Let me finish, bro. That's you not, had uh, your chance to answer the question. Uh, no, 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 no. No, let me finish. Let me finish. Right. But I, can answer I will ask you the question again. Right. Calm down. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. I contend to all of you yeah. that if you take the time to investigate the claims of the Quran yeah. about what happened in the first century, yeah. you will find that the Quran is making completely unsubstantiated claims that have no verification in history at all. Yeah. None, zero, zip, zilch, nada, nothing, nothing at all. The Quran claims that Jesus brought a book called an Injil. And we have no evidence at all that it ever existed. By contrast, the documents that I have in my hand that are called the New Testament are testified to by archaeological discovery, fragments, manuscripts from the second to the third and beyond centuries, the oldest of which is dated from 90 AD to 140 AD. It's a fragment of the Gospel of John and you can see it with your own eyes in the museum in Manchester, which I think is called the Betty Ryland Museum. I might have got that name wrong. Christians could also appeal to early writers from the second century, such as um, Ignatius, it might also be Irenaeus, because I always get those two confused, and Papias, who were writers writing before the year 150, and they quote the New Testament that I have in my hand, demonstrating, ladies and gentlemen, that the New Testament that I, I have in my hand was in wide circulation and was widely recognized. One second. Furthermore, those same Christians argued with other belief systems, such as against, like Tertullian arguing against Praxius, or Irenaeus arguing against the Gnostics, or arguing against the Ebionites, which were a first century Jewish sect of the Christian movement. One thing you do not find them arguing against is anything that looked like an early Muslim community. And these church fathers quoted the texts of their opposition. Ah, one second. And they never quoted anything called an Injil or mentioned anything like a Muslim community. So I will ask brother and brother once again, and any Muslim can chip in, because you're gonna need to back one another up. What evidence at all can you offer to me today that an angel of Jesus actually existed apart from an unsubstantiated claim by the Quran? Your evidence. Alright, repeat the question one more time. Okay, so the question is, what evidence can be offered by Tony and Rat Boy, that's the name he's commonly known by, what evidence can they bring forward 
to demonstrate to me the existence of a first century Injil in the same way that I have presented to all of you evidence that this document called the New Testament is dated to the first century and reliable. Please. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and subhanahu wa ta'ala and Prophet Muhammad, Jesus, Moses, Abraham, Jacob, David were all prophets of Allah and the angel Gabriel who this man claims to love will come down with Jesus, he will bring down Jesus with his wing and when Jesus comes back he will say to you look this is the real Bible, this is the real Bible in my hand and he will, yes Jesus will come with the real Bible and Imam Al Mahdi who is Jesus' uh, cousin will also come back with the real Bible and the real Torah and the real Injil, all of that. So when, he, when you see that, that's the time when you're going to say, oh, I'm Bob the Builder, I did a big mistake and you will cry. Yes, you will cry, Bob the Builder, you will cry like a baby because you will say, how could I have done such a big sin and made you son of God when you were just a prophet, a Messiah, the son of Mary. Jesus was the son of Mary, just like Adam had no father, Jesus had no father. The, whole, the book which you, which, you, which you are following today, I said, I love it, I respect it, I kiss it. If you give me a Bible, I kiss it, I read it, I contemplate on it, I learn from it. Yes, I kiss the Bible because it's a holy book. But at the same time, I will not agree with someone saying that God has a son. I will not agree with someone saying God is free. God is one, just like, see, Tahu number one. Yeah, God is one, not three or four or six or seven, one God. And Jesus, the Messiah, was born without a father. Mary, please be upon her. We love her. She, she was, she had Jesus without having a, uh, you know. And Adam was without a father. God has power to do things. Jesus raised the dead with the power of God. Jesus cured the blind with the power of God. Jesus used to know who was going to die tomorrow, so he would tell someone, his companions, you know what's going to happen? This guy is going to die tomorrow. And I'll tell you a story which is narrated by Imam Ali. Jesus' second, uh, tenth cousin. He said to he said, so they went to the guy, it was the next day, the guy wasn't dead. So they went to Jesus, they said, Jesus, you said that this guy was gonna die tomorrow and he didn't die. So the, Jesus said, let's go to his house. So they went to his house and they, and they saw the man, the man woke up. They said, what happened to you? He said, nothing, I, I just woke up. What did you do that night? He said, there was a beggar at my door. No, no, sorry. And one Hold second, on. no, let me finish. He said, there was a the beggar. No, 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 no,